Hey, so just wanted to re-record my kind of introduction a little bit. Um, what I originally recorded, I'm going to put after this, uh, before the workout stuff. But it's because at the time of filming that individual introduction, I wasn't aware. Um, mainly because I forgot it was a bank holiday. But um, this is actually my last session in Swansea University Gym. And just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. Because Swansea Uni is somewhere I used to work. Um, you know, so I've been, you know, training and had stuff to do there, you know, know everybody there for about three years now, and, um, yeah, it just kind of, like, caught me by surprise, a little bit of, a, uh, you know, memories, I don't want to dwell, but one more thing, but, but, um, I really enjoyed my time at Swansea Uni, met some good people there, met, um, you know, it really helped me when I was working there to kind of, like, help me. I kind of established myself a little bit more in kind of like the powerlifting world when I was working there because it basically I ran it along the side like my full-time job there. Um, and it was really interesting uh, time. There's a lot of good kit if you ever go to Swansea Uni. In Swansea, I, I suggest visiting their university gym. It's a really good kit. Uh, there's some good people there as well and the team there, really good team. Um, I'm really sad I'm not going to be able to, to train them anymore, actually, really. Um, it's one of those you kind of like, you don't miss it. I, when you when you first leave, but then like over time you kind of realise that you know you've you're missing it a little bit, and that's kind of like how I felt with Swansea Uni, and now I've had my last session there, and yeah, a little bit you know, but as the saying goes, people move on, time to you know, move on, and you know obviously I get to chain out of PV performance, which full time, which if you haven't been to yet, look at this, look at that gym. So yeah, if you're in the Cardiff area, you could have seen me and we'll have a coffee and chat and just kind of show you around the new gym. But anyway, into the main original introduction for the video. So uh, this was filmed a couple of days ago and before the workout video. Uh, so this is after, a bit of an afterthought. But uh, yeah, enjoy, catch you soon. Have a good weekend. Okay, so second vlog, um, where do I begin? Um, as you can probably no notice, that's the side. Um, there's quite a big, you might ask yourself, why is there quite a big bundle of bubble wrap behind me? And it's not because I'm really stressed, you know, popping it. Um, it's not that, it's not that. Um, but what it's for is uh, I'm actually in the process of moving house. Uh, for those of you who don't know, at the moment I live in Swansea. Um, but I'm moving to Ponticlean, um, and mainly so I can be closer to the gym, um, which is where uh, hopefully you guys can come in. PB Performance Gym and over in Sublot, come and see me, say hello. Just even for a coffee, come say hello, it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, so kind of what that got me thinking about, and um, it's something I mentioned before, is about habits and sustainability of habits. Um, and it's kind of one of those, you know, there are going to be days, especially when you've got a period of high stress, which, as we all know, moving house is. It's, it's kind of crazy. And this, looking back over, over August, it's August has actually been quite a mental month. I'll, I'll tell you why in just a moment. But, um, yeah, stressful time, especially moving moving house. And the reality of it is, looking at my week, because realistically it's going to take two days to move because we move out of here on the tuesday and we're into the new place on the wednesday um don't worry i'm not homeless for a night i am staying here the tuesday night but we've got to be out wednesday morning so basically we've got to pack everything up into the truck on the tuesday night ready to go um but as you can imagine that essentially is going to mean that all my time um is kind of going to be taken up doing that loading a truck getting everything organized with that and that's kind of gonna you know you look at your schedule and you just think how the hell am i going to fit this in like, like a gym workout and it's something i mentioned actually today on my on my insta story by the way if you don't follow my instagram jump on there i, I do stories uh most mornings actually on my early morning walk um and you know like i say sometimes excuses 
you know, everybody says bad excuses getting in the way and procrastination and stuff like that, but sometimes your excuse is valid. You know, I, I say I, I've had a mental month. I look back at August and I've, you know, I've had my children over for a week. Now, before anybody jumps on me, yes, I know it's just a week. It's not my daily, you know, life. Um, although, you know, obviously I'd have them more if I could. Um, but, you know, it's, it's still a, it's, knocking me out of my routine as to where I normally have been and the amount of you know energy and headspace two little ones you know my for those who don't know my little boy yeah she turns eight today and my little girl is four um and they're a bit of a handful um so spending a week kind of separating them and you know having fun with them taking them out because obviously we want to make the time make the time the time we can um you know, we want to have fun with that. And it really knocked, like, things like training out of routine. I actually had to join um, the local gym, the 24-hour place, the 24-hour gym, um, to get my workouts done. So basically, I went at, basically, well, they went bed at half seven. Um, so I wasn't getting to the gym till about nine o'clock, so obviously let them settle. And, you know, just kind of getting my workout done then. Um, but the, the way it affected my workout, you know, my, my energy was a lot less. You could really feel it in the workouts and it kind of right, nearly nip, knocked me for six. And next week is going to be pretty similar in all, in all honesty. Moving house, there's probably going to be two potential workouts I'm missing out of. I'm also away at the weekend because um, I'm, I'm away at a powerlifting competition with two, two guys that I coach um, at a national championships. And um, it really kind of does wallop you and like i say sometimes your excuses are valid now where your excuses aren't valid are you know when you're kind of telling me that you haven't got time to do your nutrition you haven't got time to go to the gym and then you sit on the sofa and you watch you know you binge watch next netflix for three four hours um that's the time when you know you kind of gotta gotta look at things and go hmm Maybe actually, you know, it comes down to it. Maybe what it is, is it's not a case of that you're just putting off it and saying you don't have time. It's just a case of priorities. And, you know, you do need to, especially when forming a new habit, um, you've got to just prioritise it and prioritise it. And, you know, I'm not saying it has to be the be all and end all and you should sacrifice other things for that. Um, But sacrifice Netflix. (laughs) <laughs> it's basically what I'm saying um, because you know if you want to make progress you want to move forward then these are the things you've got to do anyway so today I am going to be going to the gym in a bit I've just spent my morning went for my morning walk it's currently at the time I'm you know I'm recording this it's about 10 past nine in the morning done my morning walk done, up, done my morning check-ins with clients just seeing how they're doing getting on and getting on with things then doing a bit of video editing. I had a really good session with Gwen last night, which I'm, I'm going to put together. She was very kind and didn't let me uh, record that, so that's going in a video out to, uh, later today, probably before this does actually, so you've probably seen that before. Um, and then I'm off to the gym this afternoon. Um, also, my stepdaughter, it's uh, GCSE Results Day. If anybody's out there getting their results, you know, best of luck to you. Please do not worry if things do not go your way. You know, GCSE Results. Um, they seem important at the time but the, the, the grand scheme of things is you know it's nothing that you can't put behind and move on forward to I'm, I'm 36 now you know yes I've got to do my GCSEs and I've got reasonable results um, but the reality of it is is you know I didn't actually find what I wanted to do till I was 30 anyway sorry I you know diverse um, later on today so just about pretty much finishing up my work for the morning um, and then now I'm going to have an hour or two to just kind of chill out before I head off to the gym. Uh, I've got some deadlifts today, sets of 10 for deadlifts which is pretty horrible um, but I'll record that and you'll see that in just a moment. So um, yeah, catch you soon guys. Um, any comments just uh, pop them below and I'll try and answer any questions. Make sure you hit subscribe as well. Catch you soon. Cheers guys.